Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. Uh, daily rewards claim for Sunday. On uh, my alt account, I have 10 bronze chests to claim, and we're already up to 33 for the season. Just under 9 days left. Hope everyone is having a good Sunday. I'm glad to have a day off work, a day to just relax at home. Hopefully it'll be a good day with, uh, hopefully at least four cards. Um, we got four cards yesterday out of ten chests, so hoping we can get at least four cards again today. Um, another reminder, there aren't any multipliers in bronze chests, so you can only get one card per chest. Okay, starting with a little SPS, a little more SPS, even less SPS, there we go. Fungus Flinger, a card with Martyr. Wily Coyote, so glad to have that. A little more SPS. Drybone Barbarian. Okay, so so far we've gotten three commons. Um, hope, like I said, hoping to get a rare and hoping to get a summoner. So that's what I really need for this account. But nope, so we ended up getting three cards out of ten chests. So let's add that to the notes. So three cards. We have now received a total of 50 cards and 232 chests. So keeping track of that. Um, also, we just finished up on Splinter Forge, uh, my second week of earnings. So I earned 1,108 uh, Forgium, which I converted into just under that amount to 1,100 DEC. And then minus my fees for rentals, I ended up with just over 1,000 uh, DEC for the week. So for the first two weeks, averaging just over um, 1,000 DEC just by simply submitting a few battles. Okay, so let's go over to the main account. I believe I have 10 silver chests to open there. So in these chests, you can receive up to three of each common and up to two of each rare. Still looking for my first legendary, which even in silver and using potions is, I think, a little over one and a half percent. So... Oh, 11 chests. So we have 11 silver chests to open and at 11 gold for the season. So hopefully you can get at least one, maybe two summoners would be great. Since there is a 20% chance of every card you get being a rare card. Okay, starting with two orcs, three potions, a little SPS, almost half an SPS. There we go, two of the Water Summoner. Cool, happy with that. A little more SPS. Three of the Swamp Spitter. So I'll have to see, I might be able to level him to two. Well, I'll be able to level him two now because there's five right there. Three Coastal Sentries, okay. Getting a lot of water cards today. A little SPS and finishing up with the potion. So very good, five. Well, five cards and 11 chests, but we actually received a total of four, seven, eight, nine, twelve 12 cards. So it's a good opening. Uh, exploits is the focus. Let's go and check the Soulbound cards. I know I can level up uh, the Swamp Spitter, or as I like to call him, the Ninja Turtle. And see how many of the Water Summoners, let's see, Soulbound... Go regular foil. Okay, so we've got eight of the Swamp Spitter. So we can level him to two. Love him just for the repair ability. I use this card in Splinter Forge too. Um, if I use Kelia, I also use this to do a little bit of damage and get the repair. So he will now be at level two. And we'll check and see if we can level any of the other water cards. Okay, so he's level 2. Coastal Sentry is already level 2. So I have two of the nymphs. So that was the first water summoner for this account. I have four of the fire summoner. Still don't have the earth summoner. Still don't have the life summoner or the death. And the card I really want to get on this account is the Ravenhood Warden for that repair. I think I can level the Orc. So I think the Orc I can level to level 3. 
Yep, level 3 orc. I think that's my first level 3 card. Okay, so after this, let's check uh, Splinter Forge. So right now, I've won, I've had a great day grinding. Um, I've won, let's see, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 in a row, which is, is fantastic for me. Usually I go about 50% or just over, mainly playing just my death team uh, once I play Grandmaster Wraith. But other than that, a lot of death. Um, I was delegated a kitty. So played Kitty for a couple of games, but very happy with that. I'm going to stay in silver, um, might push to gold the last day of the season just so that I earn gold chests. I like earning gold chests for season rewards. I know I will get a lot fewer, but the multiplier is a lot higher. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, before I forget, let's go claim the SPS for today and then we'll go to Splinter Forge. And check out Splinter Forge. Okay, so we've got just under 10 SPS to claim. Building the bags back up. One thing I've been thinking of doing as well, I think I mentioned it in the video yesterday, is taking some of my uh, earnings daily from my GLX tokens. Let's go ahead and log in over here. And taking some of my tokens from here, uh, transferring them to Hive. Let's go ahead and claim this. Transfer it to Hive um, to pick up some more vouchers. Um, as you know, I'm bullish on vouchers. Plus, vouchers can be used at a pretty good rate for purchasing uh, DEC batteries. So let's transfer over to Hive. Don't know if I'll do it right now, but I at least want to have it in my Hive account so I can swap it if I'd like to. I'm just checking Hive right now. Let's refresh. DEC and Forgium are pretty much staying the same. At, I think they were like 0.73. Yep, Forge is actually now slightly higher than DEC. But with the GLX token, you know, 3.7 cents a piece, these are good to swap over for vouchers. So it's basically 3 GLX equals 1 voucher. So if you have a decent amount of um, GLX that you're staking, you can take some of your daily profits and pick up, you know, 20 some vouchers a day and then take those vouchers and use those to purchase DECB. I believe one voucher is 200 DECB. So if you guys are looking to pick up DECB um, for land when land comes out, which is what I'm going to do because I have five plots of land, so... I'm going to need at least 50,000 uh, DECB to purchase the building starter kit. I'm debating on the other two, but I know I want a minimum of uh, at least 50,000. So picking up vouchers now, that will be a good way to do that. Um, had a battle started for Splinter Forge. Um, you can see this is a team that I've been using a lot. Uh, always use Kelia for the speed and armor. In this game, you want to make sure that your team has at least one um, point of armor. Kitty is awesome, as everyone knows. The extra speed, you're never going to miss any heal. Uh, really can't beat it. Um, you always usually want to have the ooze or something that slows the boss. Um, at least one repair. In this, uh, For this boss, with the four magic damage, you're going to want a double heal. Um, a taunt monster. Um, an inspire, just for a little bit more damage for um, your taunt monster, and then I just threw in another good damage monster. So all together, uh, 233 points of damage, almost 10 Forgium. Um, they did raise the level requirement for damage, so you need to do 300 damage now on the bronze boss to get the max Forgium of 12 and a half. So let's go ahead and do another quick battle. So this one probably won't do very well because he has shield but we'll give it a try. And like I said, your stamina re um, regenerates one per minute. So you can usually play 11 battles, and then in eight hours your stamina will be back and you can do it again. So let's go Kitty and Kelia. Okay, shield, so obviously I would like to do magic damage. <clears throat> now let's try a little bit different team. 
course, I really need the taunt, otherwise he's going to destroy the rest of my team. Well, let's just go with the taunt. Let's pretty much keep the same team. Creeping ooze. <clears throat> a repair. A heal. Another heal. Uh, do I want extra armor? Yeah, he's got shields, so the Inspire really won't do a whole lot. And what do we have for four? Uh, let's see, one point of damage. Yeah, not very happy with this team, but like I said, it's basically just free forgium just for putting in a battle, so might as well get a few points. You can always kind of throw the match. By just submitting a 15, um, 15 mana team, but eh, I don't like doing that. Well, better than I thought, 238. So almost 10 Forgium. Okay, Magic Reflect. So let's try Kitty again with Kalia. Magic Reflect would be great. Okay, yep, we're definitely going you. Definitely going Demented Shark, the Slow, the Heal. If your cards don't show up, just scroll down. It will load the rest of your cards. You're going to do a Repair, do another Heal. We've got three mana left, and we do have an Inspire, so Tidebiter is good. has good damage and decent speed. So we'll submit this team. Um, another thing, in case you guys don't know, they are going to... At least the plan is sometime this week, upcoming week, uh, get the marketplace up for Splinter Forge. So excited for that. See how we do in this last fight. Skip to rewards. 298, so just two points shy of getting the max. But we basically got the max, 12.45. Let's see how we're doing on the leaderboard. Boss is at 68%. So I'm in the top 137. I haven't been in the leaderboards in a long, long time. Um, they did extend the leaderboards, at least for bronze. It used to be in the top 100 you would earn. Now it's in the top 150. So as long as you can get in the top 150, um, you'll get at least 1,000 Forge. And I think that's true of all the bosses. Just if you're curious, if you want to go up against the Diamond Boss... And try to get through all that mess. Uh, if you can manage to be first place, 60,000 Forge, which is what about 42 bucks or so. So decent payout. But as you can see, there's only 185 people competing. Okay, so this is only the top 100 still. So if you can get in the top 100, you're going to get at least 5,000 Forgium. Uh, fighting the main boss. Um, if you want an idea of what teams are good, just click on Recent Battles. You can see, even though this boss has got Magic Reflect, Phase, Backfire, and now he has Affliction and Fury, there's still people managing to do almost 2,000 points of damage. And basically what they do is they have a maxed out hero, um, a couple either speed buffs, or in this case, I think this is the first time I've seen this be used, um, basically throwaway cards um, as far as zero mana just to give you know a little extra speed in the slow extra speed with the bard extra speed with the brownie and the flame monkey and slow so he's going to just as you can see his speed is 18 so he's just trying to hit the boss as often as he can he's got an incredible hero with 26 uh, armor and 40 health so if you spend the time and the money and upgrade your uh, hero in splinter forge you know, it's going to cost you money to upgrade your hero, but as you can see, if you can get on the leaderboards, you know, even if you're in, what, top 30, you're going to get 25,000 Forgium for beating the uh, the main boss. And is there anything else I'd like to go over? So we went over the chess, 50 cards, 232, 1,000 DEC a week for playing Splinter Forge. Yep, I think that's it for now, guys. Um, if there's any other subjects you'd like me to cover, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Until then, hope you guys are having a great day. Like I said, I'm going to relax today, play some Splinter Forge, play some Splinterlands, um, 
earn my chess for tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow with another daily uh, opening video. Thanks for watching, guys. We're closing in on 500 subscribers, and like I said, I'm planning on doing a giveaway once we hit 500. Still trying to figure out exactly what, but I would just like to say once again, thank you for everyone that watches the videos, leaves comments, leaves suggestions. Very much appreciate appreciated. This is a very very special community, and I want you guys to know that um, your time and attention are greatly appreciated. So thanks, and I will see you again soon with another video. Take care.